Hey guys, this is Vinny Night One, and I'm talking about the Xbox Game Showcase. Now, for those of you who haven't watched it, I'll have the link to the actual Xbox Game Showcase in the description below, and you can go watch it, then come back to the video and hear my thoughts. Well, personally, it was actually a pretty good conference. Yes, there was some bad, some good. I'm going to just go over the bad quickly, and then I'm going to go straight to the good. First off, they didn't show, like, much gameplay. I'm not saying that they didn't show gameplay from the games, but for certain games, they just didn't show much gameplay, you know? It was like a little bit, like in the gunk. You don't see much of the actual gameplay in that trailer, even though that game does look pretty cool. For certain games, you only saw a little bit of gameplay. Some, some games you saw much more, certain games you saw a little bit. I think I could have dealt with a little bit more gameplay for certain games because with these type of showcases, we're going to want to see how the games themselves actually look and play because we're looking to see how the next set of consoles compare to the old ones. Another thing about the conference was that Personally, I just wasn't into many of the games. I'm, I, some of them I were, but they showed 22 games, so that was a good number. So I guess they got an even crowd. I wasn't into all of them. Some of them, new ones look really interesting, and some of them don't. <laughs> but other than that, it was actually a pretty good conference. They started off with Halo Infinite, and that's a way to start off the conference. And State of Decay 3 actually looks pretty good, but once again, it was CGI trailer, no gameplay. And ending it with Fable, that was just a way to end it. Because we haven't seen a decent Fable, I believe, in a while Fable 3 I played through and I liked it, but it wasn't like one of those great games. It was just like, okay, this is fun, but I don't know. I didn't play Fable 1 or 2, but Fable 3 wasn't the best. But one of the best things I think about this conference actually came right at the end. Not Fable, when, but when they said that all the games shown at this conference are going to be available to Game Pass users. Do you know what that is? All 22 games that were shown at that conference, you don't have to buy if you own Game Pass. You just download when they come out. That is greatness in my opinion because Microsoft is saying, hey, you don't even have to buy none of these games. Just be a Game Pass member. Like, wow, that was to me probably one of the most shocking part of the conference because usually you would think some, but all? That's greatness that all of them are going to be a part of it. They even had an update to DLC for The Outer Worlds that's coming out September 9th. That looks pretty good. I'll probably be getting that update and probably playing through it. But other than that, there isn't much to talk about this conference. Like, Certain games looked pretty good, certain games not so much. As Dust Falls actually looks interesting to me. That's a game that I actually found kind of interesting when I saw the trailer. But other than that, they had some good games, they had some bad games. Not much else to say about this conference. It wasn't anything mind-blowing, but it wasn't bad really. It was pretty good in my opinion. They did not reveal the price, and they did not reveal the Xbox Series S as we're calling it. So I was wrong about one, right about the other. Anyway, what do you guys think about the Xbox Game Showcase? What did you like? What did you dislike? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and may God bless you all.